what's up guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine today i'm going to show you this typography effect on the pixel lab and how you can use it how you can create this one in a better way possible and i had so much fun creating these effects and they are something that no one has done before on the pixel lab app there are similar videos just like this on already on the channel so be sure you watch them and if you are new to the pixel lab or new to this channel in general then please consider subscribing follow me on instagram and as always without wasting any more time let's get started okay so right now we are on the pixel lab app as you can see we've got the text so i'm just going to go and double tap on it and i'm just going to edit the text which is our first only text right here line and i'm just going to keep it in caps and i'm going to leave a space right in the front and in the end so that i have a little bit of space to play around now this is our text i'm just going to go into fonts here from here like this and i'm going to select the basic font that i have so i have like uh, let's see gotham so this is the font that i'm going to use but you can use any italic font that you have once uh, like we are done with that i'm just going to keep it right here and i'm going to go to effects and go to gallery and i'm gonna get and import this like a template right here which is a color palette that i have created you will get this color palette in the telegram as well so if you don't know just check the description in the link and you'll get it right now i'm just going to select the background color so i'm out now in the background color editing and i've got this basic gradient that i've applied it that you will get presetly available on the pixel app now we want to have our preset colors like color palette colors into that background gradient so I'm just going to select the first option and I'm just going to move it a little bit of darker side. So this is our first color. Clicking on that second color, we'll choose and get the second color from here. So this is our second gradient color that you can see. Once you are like happy with how the gradient looks like, you can also like play around with the gradient colors and you'll get something like this. So right now I'm like having and copying this layer from here and hiding it. So this is like what we did for the next part but now I just want you to copy that text layer. Once we are done like I'm going to change the color of that text into a gradient from here and I'm going to choose the gradient right here. So I've already had that gradient available that's why I've actually applied it but you can get it from the color palette. Once we are done with that you will get to see this 3D option enable it and that effect doesn't really works a lot better right now with the newer android versions but if you like move around with your size keep it a little bit smaller and a little bit of like if you resize it a little bit it will work perfectly well now i'm going to select the 3d option once again and uh, adjust the depth so if you are facing problems you can just do what i've just done right now adding like adding some different sizes or changing the size of the text and you will get this effect right if, you, if it is not working obviously so right now what I'm doing is you can just do that and what I've done is done is like uh, uh, added the shadows, I add, adjusted the, the depth of the effect, adjusted this thing right here which is the angle of like actual 3D angle that you want, you're going to be seeing in the direction and uh, this is how it looks like. So you can always copy the similar settings that I have and you will end up with something like this. Now we've got this second copied text layer that we already highlighted it so and i'm gonna keep it on top of this layer so it will look like this now i'm gonna go and select the colors select the gradient and from here i'm just going to select uh, this uh, normal preset and i'm just going to apply our gradient from the color palette so this is the first color that we are going to choose and from the second color black here and clipping on this bucket icon from here and here and then I'm going to select this second color right here, this one. So this is how it looks like. This is the second gradient that we're going to be using on this, right this and I'm just going to keep it on top of this first layer like this. You can always play around and have some offset so it would give you a feel that it is not like actually connected to the bottom layer and you can play around with that and know that how it looks like. Now I've copied this layer once again and again. So these are like two layers. And I'm just going to keep them on top of each other and align them perfectly. So yeah, I'm just going to keep uh, make them white. So both the layers should be in the white right now, as you can see, and copy them. So these are the two layers that we have copied. 
in the white types and this is how it looks like so yeah just keep them uh, on top of each other and select the first layer from the angle and go to select this effect called stroke and apply a stroke effect on the first layer like the topmost layer of this text effect or the text in general and i'm going to go select these two and merge them together so i hope you got got that part we have done this similar effect in the last design as well and i'm going to select the re-raise option right here and erase out the white part so basic this effect right here and we like got with our basic outline part that we have for the our custom font now i'm going to select and apply like add a white color on that uh, effect just simple and keep it on top of that third text layer or second text layer and this is how it looks like so adding this one looks like it is been like it is kind of a 3d shape and all of these text layers are floating around and it creates a little bit of 3dness into this effect and it looks absolutely stunning and i just love the way it came out you can always play around with the colors gradients and everything i'm also going to put a shadow like i'm going to select the bottomest text layer which will be the 3d one and add a shadow to it and like this is what the shadow that i've applied you can always play around with the shadows just like i said and looks a lot better so yeah just uh, play around with this effects play around with the 3dness colors and uh, fonts as well and you will come up with better design than this also this is just the basic one that i've done i'm also going to post some of the design that i found out on internet on the screen so you can check out how they look how do they look and uh, i hope you will create this one after watching this video you will go on the pixel lab and create this effect and tag me on the instagram and post it on your instagram so hope you will like this one and if you did uh, make sure you like this video as always there are more effects just like this coming up on onto this channel i know i'm speaking a lot fast but yeah i hope you will love this one and consider subscribing to this channel thank you so much for the love and support if you haven't you have been commenting and giving me your your like suggestions or your comments are just really nice i really appreciate that and uh, that's it for the video and as always i will catch you guys in my next one